So we are sitting here in a... We are. We are. We're sitting here. We are actually sitting here. Yeah. I manifested it. Yeah, you made it happen. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> but we're here or in a manifestify, beautiful... manifestify, which is what Vincent van Hoff used to say. Manitestify? Manifestify. Manifestify. Yeah. And it was destiny and whatever. Vincent yeah, van Hoff was an amazing guy, which uh, I'm going to assume, and we got Hanson sitting back here. I'm assuming that's he, one he of your all time heroes. He doesn't want to be known right? behind the camera. And uh, <laughs> uh, Vincent was a studio designer. This, to say that is like saying Michael Jordan was a, a basketball player. He was? Uh, <laughs> He also played golf, and he had a great role in Space Jam. I like how these things create silence. You know, when you want, you don't have to listen to things. Go on. No, I'm done. I'm done. Let's go to our next subject. What's next? <laughs> well, what, we, well, I mean, as long as we're on this. Yeah. You know, uh, I was thinking about when I met Hanson, and I had heard his name. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about you now. And... Uh, I'd, I'd done uh, Peter Dell, mastering engineer, uh, worked at U United or Universal Mastering, and uh, he had a new room he wanted me to hear. So I went there, and the room looked like it wasn't treated at all. It just like four walls. And I walked in, and he goes, move anywhere in this room and listen to the music. And wherever I sat, it sounded the same, which is super rare. I go, what's up with this room? And he goes, this room's like a magic room. We had this guy, Hanson, do the acoustic treatment. And that's for the first time I heard Hanson's name and the, you know, the DHDI uh, concept. And yeah. this stuff was built into the walls, unobtrusive. It wasn't like all that egg carton looking right? crap hanging everywhere. Very sleek and uh, very neutral mm -hmm. as opposed to an anechoic a claustrophobic sound, you know? So I became a fan of his stuff way back. And then this Zero Acoustic stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be able to put this up anywhere, like where we're sitting right now. Yeah. It sounds so good right here. You know, it's like, it's not echoing. We're in a big room, but uh, you're not really here in the room here. And the way music is created today is, uh, you know, very makeshift in smaller rooms, not big studios. So mm -hmm. you got a laptop. And this is perfectly lends itself for, because that's the biggest thing missing today in, in music creation is, you know, everybody's got logic on a laptop and a couple cool mics and they know how to do it, but they're in shitty rooms. Mm -hmm. They're in shitty sounding rooms. And to sit all day in a room that sounds bad, I grew up working in the greatest control rooms in the world. So for me to sit in a bad room, I, it drives me nuts to hear sound bouncing all over the place. So this really lends itself with our modern recording world. You know, this movable technology, uh, this just stuff's just clipped up to a, a stand here. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. 